The magnificent city of Paris, the host to the second La Course by Le Tour de France. 120 riders, 20 teams. The top women's riders taken to the roads of the Champs Elysees to race out to follow on from Mariana Voss, the winner of last year. Indeed, Mariana Voss, the only rider in the women's peloton out of the star riders not to appear here. Her season wrecked by injury. With the rain, I think it's going to be a tactical race, a bit difficult to manage. We don't really have anyone for the sprint, so we're going to go and the offensive and attack. Well, here's a map of what the riders face uh, during La Course today. 13 laps of 6.8 kilometres, taking in, of course, the Place de la Concorde and the famed uh, Champs Elysees. Looping round the Arc de Triomphe every single time, and it will produce a fantastic winner. The run into the finish along the Rue de Rivoli, and then the final run in on the cobbles to the finish line. The flag dropped by Anne Hidalgo, the mayor of Paris, and the peloton underway. Early race conditions, not too bad, but the rain that's starting to fall on the backs of the peloton. The 120 riders, the early tempo nice and high. Some of the teams in here would like to have a sprint finish. The world champion squad, though, have we've heard already, they want to break things up and make sure that one rider goes clear. A crash in the peloton as the cobbles start to get a little bit slippy. The tempo starting to ratchet up just a little bit more. More crashes in the peloton. It's getting slick out here. The tempo being set by the teams of Rabo Liv and many attacks from the Orica AIS team. In particular, Gracie Elvin and Lizzie Williams, very animated at the front of the race. One long line in the peloton. And another crash taking down the sprinter Shelley Olds. A big crash as the peloton starts to line things up for the sprint. But still, the fans cram in by the roadside, keen to see the women's peloton in action. With one lap to go, a big group of riders setting themselves up for what looks like a bunch finish. However, one rider decided that wasn't to be the case. The Dutch rider Anna van der Breggen from the Rabo Live team going on the attack on the climb up to the Arc de Triomphe and holding a slender advantage of just three or four seconds as she rounded the final bend. The sprinters teams of Liv Planteur and Wiggle Honda looking to bring her back, but with 200 metres to go and a little glance round, Anna van der Breggen still had her lead intact. Anna van der Breggen, the winner of the Flesch Vallon, the winner of the Umlet Hen Loisblad, wins the La Course by Le Tour de France. What a day for this rider. I cannot really believe this. Uh, we had a good plan with the team and Pauline was, uh, was feeling really well. She was, she was going for the sprint and yeah, she lives in France, so it's uh, also important for her. And yeah, the, we, we said I attack in the last lap, so it's good for me and also for the teams, they have to chase me. So uh, that was the plan and I did and I, uh, yeah, I managed to keep it until the finish, so it's, uh, it's great. Sometimes a pre-race plan comes together. The podium of La Course by Le Tour de France. Amy Peters, Jolene Dora and Anna van der Breggen, the winner. Two hours and five minutes of racing to clinch the second edition of the race.